Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. On today's video I am doing an abstract painting. For this project I am using Cast Art on Brand Oil Paints. I've done this before many times but today I'm trying something new. I am using cold wax. This is Dorland's uh, cold wax. I had this for years and I mainly use it to seal my gouache and watercolor paintings. I am also using a palette knife, a scraper, a brayer, a potty knife, an oil stick and also I am using a paintbrush if necessary. This is the second painting of a series of abstract I'm doing this month. I am very excited. This is the first time using cold wax. I've been watching some videos on YouTube and it doesn't seem complicated. Now I am wearing some gloves because this oil stick has a wax film over it and to remove it is messy. And my oil stick is ready, so I'm going to start doing some lines, some curves, it doesn't have to be perfect. And I wanted to use a black oil stick, I thought this was a black oil stick, <laughs> but no, it's blue. And I mentioned it in the past, I am colorblind and sometimes I have difficulty distinguishing colors. Sometimes. But I think this is um, going to be okay. Now I'm going to choose my colors. I have my palette ready here. Okay. And here are the colors and I have some wax ready to mix. And I am just using a tiny bit. I have seen artists using 50-50 or more wax than paint but I am not an expert this is my first time using this medium so let's see how it goes and as you can see I am already making a mess <laughs> why not now I am going to do the same with uh, all the colors The colors are ready they are already mixed with the wax and here I made um, a sky blue and I'm going to use this for the background now I have to choose a tool and I have decided to use um, the potty knife okay now I'm gonna take some of that sky blue and a bit of the dark blue as well and look at that look at the transparency and the paint glides on the paper beautifully by the way this is a jackson's own brand paper for oil painting very nice now i'm taking the brayer and i'm just adding more color and at this point i am doing this spontaneously i am not thinking I have no plans <laughs> for this painting I'm just having fun adding layers and layers of paint I'm just choosing the colors that I feel that goes there like I said I'm just having fun now I'm using the palette knife to add texture as well I am just having fun expressing myself with colors. I am really loving this. You should try it guys. I keep adding more texture with my palette knife here and there, different colors, different lines. I'm moving my uh, palette knife in different directions. Now I'm using the brayer again. 
Now I'm using this tool to uh, make some interesting uh, marks. And I'm just keep going. And this is what it looks like so far and on the right a corner of this painting I see two people standing and I didn't see it when I was looking at it but now that I'm watching the video yes it's there it's clear <laughs> and in the middle of this painting this arrived this is a silicone scraper and I have seen artists using this for their uh, abstract paintings but really truly really, you can use this for any background as well I am really looking forward to try this uh, tool cool eh? okay let's continue now i'm going to add some black to break it down and for that i'm going to use my palette knife some black here and there i'm just having fun i have no plans yet now with the palette knife i am scratching in some areas to give texture to my painting and then I saw it <laughs> right in front of me and you will see it too by the end of this video so come back to you in a minute guys Okay guys, and here it is, my painting finished. I'm gonna call it Predator and I hope you can see why. <laughs> I really had fun creating this. Oh, I really, really enjoyed it. And I hope you like this video as well, guys. Thank you so much for watching. By the way, I enjoyed using the wax. It's an amazing medium and uh, I will continue using it for this uh, type of painting. Or maybe for my other paintings as well so thank you so much for watching and hopefully see you next time
Bye bye.